Hey, I'm going to try this again. I did a video that broke down the reading that Tyler Henry did with Alan Thicke two months before Alan Thicke died of a heart attack. And in the video, Thomas John talks to him about a heart attack and getting his blood pressure checked and all that kind of thing. So the internet was pretty crazy about it for a while, saying that Tyler Henry predicted the death of somebody. Well, I did a video on it and I showed the video and then I broke in and talked about it and so on. And then the E network within minutes, you know how they put those copyright things on it. So we went through a dispute time and I came out that I lost. I do not get to show the video whenever I am um, using E, E network. So I'm going to try this again because I think it's a really important video that we need to discuss. You can watch it yourself. It's out there on the internet. It's called um, Tyler Henry and reads Alan Thick T H I C K E and heart attack. There's a lot of different videos out there. So if you want to watch it, that's fine. So I'm going to go through it. I can show you screenshots of it, but I can't show you the full video. So sorry, but I do want to do this. I have written an article about this, this whole reading, and I have that available. I'll put it in the description. You can read about that whenever you get a chance afterwards, because it, it's a more detail than what I'm doing. The video that, that I'm responding to is done by E-Network, as I said, and it is kind of confusing in that what happened is Tyler Henry goes to the house of Alan Thick and his wife, Tanya, and it's a beautiful house and they sit down and Tyler starts off with um, I need an item to to um, hold, and I'm going to tell you about that person in the video. You know, I'm going to tell you about that person during the reading. So Tyler picks up this item that Alan had saved for him. I guess he had like three or four items that was sitting on a couch, and Tyler picks up the glasses, and he does a reading on those glasses. Then, somewhere else in the video, Tyler starts talking to him about heart problems how it's how men have heart problems and he should get his blood pressure checked and that somebody from the other side somewhere is giving him this information about the uh, getting his his health checked because uh, don't be stubborn just go get it done make sure you check your heart and all that and Alan Thick is looking at him like well we don't really have any heart problems the other my sister who had open heart surgery um, we don't really have that problem, but sure, I'll go get it checked. And then they both laugh. I mean, these big outrageous laughs. And and uh, Alan Thick says, thank you, Dr. Henry. Okay. And that's basically it. That was the reading he had done with um, Tyler Henry and Alan Thick. And then the wife gets involved in this kind of thing. She's a huge fan of Tyler Henry's. I think she's like, 30 years younger than Alan Thicke. And I think that's important because she's the third wife and she wants to have kids. He's almost 70. And so there's there's all this dichotomy going on. It's really sweet, this love story of Alan Thicke and his, his new wife. Well, I don't think it's his new wife. I think they've been married for a little bit, but okay. Then what happens is Alan Thicke dies two months after that reading. And you know... E network, you know what these people are like. They're so generous and respectful of people, and they feel that maybe they should give them some time to heal and not exploit, would never exploit somebody's death for TV ratings and clicks. Of course not. <laughs> right? We're laughing. Okay. So, no. So, two months after. Alan Thick's death, they send Tyler back to go talk to Tanya. And they show her, and he's showing her the reading. He's showing her the footage from the first reading. And she's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. 
and then they talk about it and so on. And that's the video you will find on the internet. So what nobody's been able to make clear to me, and I don't think it exists, is there a video of Tyler talking to Alan Thick before he dies and it was released? I don't think so. I think it was just Tyler talking to Alan Thick for a couple hours, whatever it is that they do, gives him all this information. He talks to him about his heart, but I think he does that kind of stuff to a lot of people. I mean, the number one um, cause of death for for uh, adult men, once you get into your adult years, is usually heart disease or something to do with the heart. Second is, is cancer. Third is probably right now is COVID, but um, you know what I'm saying. I don't know, but it, it's up there now. This was recorded back in uh, a few years ago, so it's pre-COVID. And he goes in and he has this, um, I think that what I'm saying is, is that E-Network cut the video. Remember, it's like an hour, two hours of a, of a um, interview with Tyler Henry at the beginning. I think they cut the video so that it would be just the biggest hits, which was the heart attack. And if, if, uh, if Alan Thicke had not had a heart attack, I think that little bit would have been much smaller or downplayed or or something. It would just be like, oh, and hey, you should get your health checked and, and so on. And Alan would have been like, yeah, okay, thanks. Move on. And then gone on to the rest of the reading. But I think that's what happened. And, you know, because that's just kind of up their street. That's what I would think they do. So how am I going to do this so that you can see a little bit? What I'll do is let me show you, let me show you a couple pictures. And that way we don't upset the the e-network um gods. So here's Tyler Henry showing up at the door. Apparently he doesn't know who the person is. Now we get this back and forth all the time. Is he hot reading these people? In other words, has he looked up Alan Thick? Or is he reading them cold? My personal opinion, at least for the first two seasons of watching Tyler Henry, is that it's cold with a tiny bit of information about who the person is. So here he is being greeted by Tanya, who's who's loves Tyler Henry. Remember that there's a crew inside there. They've been there for hours, setting it up, getting the lighting and the and the setting up where they're going to show the the readings and all the different angles and things like that. They, they've been there for a while. Alan Thicke wants to be on TV. This guy has been on TV multiple times. He, you may not know who he is now, but he's had lots of different uh, TV roles. And he, he, let's just say his star is fallen in the last 10 years or so before this reading. So whenever he's able to get this reading from Tyler Hitter and having a TV show in, it's a big deal. It's, it's not only a big deal for Alan to be able to get back on TV again, but his wife is thrilled to heck to be on there. She loves it. She's a model. So she she's very comfortable with the camera. And so that's them going in there. Let's let's see what else. I'm going to move this a little bit and let's see where else we go. So she's so they're they're, you know, he's talking and Alan looks pretty good. He's 69 years old. Um, and he he is, um, you know, sitting there on the couch with Tyler and they're going to, he's going to ask him what item that he should have, you know, what item should he hold? Now I'll play the audio because I can get away with that. Let me just get it in a nice spot. Sorry, you guys. I hate having to redo some, something I've already done. It's just so annoying. Let's see if we got this right. Yes, it'll be a good one. I am a skeptic by nature, scientific by nature. Show me, prove me. I don't have any faith in the afterlife, which is why I'm kind of ambitious while I'm here. I, I figure let's let's get her let's get her done. And now yes. it happens. My job is basically to take all of what I kind of pick up on and deliver it in a way that's going to make sense. Look at how healthy and great he looks. Well, so they're going back and forth between the clips. They're just so crazy. I actually kind of feel drawn to a particular object. So I'm going to hold under those glasses if that's okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I okay, so let's list this part. This is about the reading he's going to give with the glasses. 
So it looks like um, I have a woman that would be connecting. What's interesting is I'm immediately going to your mom's side of family, and then I feel like I have to highlight grandma, grandma, grandma. She comes through just as this creative, amazing woman who I honestly feel could have, I mean, lived 20 more lifetimes. I mean, this woman is just intense and strong and very high energy in the way this connects. Oh, his grandmother and Alan were so close. I'm seeing a piano bench and I'm sitting on the bench and this woman is kind of putting sentimental or some sort of significant value kind of around this. Do you know of anyone on your mom's side who played piano who would kind of fit that bill? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, would this be your maternal grandmother? Yes. Cool. Okay. Piano, older woman, glasses. Now he's holding the glasses in his hand and these are older female glasses. So would Alan Thick have glasses laying around the house that he would say, oh, here's a night. Tyler Henry is going to be showing up later today. I got to get a few items out. Let's see. What should I pick up? How about this chapstick? Uh, a pencil? Um, uh, what should I get? A fork? No. He's going to pick up items that really have some meaning to him. And does he have just any old person's glasses laying around? Of course not. He's got something that means something to him and they're female and, uh, you know, size and, and shape and so on. And they're um, glasses and they probably have a bit of an older feel to them or something. They're not going to be like the glasses he picked up in a garage sale or something. So it's not really saying a lot whenever Tyler says, wow, these belong to somebody that you cared about who probably was older than you and was female uh your mom uh your grandmother and the odds are 50 50 it's going to be his mom's side his dad's side he picked his mom's side also and you can't see it let me see if i can show you here really quick this is um what it looks like the house is beautiful and everything's great there's alan sitting there nice and healthy and there's tyler with the glasses in his hands you can see right here which you which you <laughs> which you also um can't see whenever you're watching the video is while tyler is talking about the glasses the camera is zoomed in right on tyler now remember there's multiple cameras covering this right now there's a camera for this wide shot there's a camera for for close-up of alan's face there's a camera on tyler's face there's a camera in the kitchen that's talking to that has um tanya She's looking at a monitor of what's going on. So there's multiple cameras in this household. Like I said, they don't just walk in, set up, and Tyler knocks on the door. He sits down, and two seconds later, they have a, they're doing the reading, and the reading's five minutes long. No, this goes on for ages, ages and ages. And when they get the film back to, to their um, editors, they have a, I mean, they're there looking at this stuff for ages. Cut, 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 cut. They take it and make it at the best they can it's really tight but you can see there's going to be lots of um you know visuals from different angles so as i'm saying the camera's right on tyler sorry i digress i get a little distracted the camera was right on tyler's face let's see if i can see that when he's talking see here's a camera on alan here's a here's a camera of tanya in the other room and here's another of that Here's, okay, so here's Tyler, and he's talking about the glasses. And while he's talking about the glasses, you can't see, you'll have to trust me on this, you can't see Alan's face. So we don't know if whenever he's holding the glasses, he says, I'm getting an older female. You don't know if Alan's going, yeah. And whenever Tyler says, is this your maternal grandmother? We don't know if, if Alan's going, yeah, you know, making some sort of face. That, that gives it away. Tyler's done tons of readings by this time. So he's probably really good at, at body language, reading the body language of the sitter. Okay. So this thing with a piano. Okay, let's talk about the piano. Um, one of the number um, one devices, you know, in everybody's house, in a lot of households were pianos back in the 30s and 40s. It was the golden age of the piano is what it was called. Canada and America, because um, Alan Thicke is Canadian. 
So it was a big deal to have a have your piano. Everybody did. If you didn't have one in your house, you had access to one. Okay, right? So for Tyler to say there's a woman, this older woman, and I see her picture, her sitting on a piano seat. At a shopping center, well, not a shopping center, but a store, at the neighbors, at a friend's, at a family's, um, at a church, at her own home. We don't know. She's, all he sees is her sitting on a piano bench, and that's extremely likely to happen for somebody of their age. I mean, even somebody now who's in their 20s and 30s who might be watching this video, hi. But even now, you probably have sat on a piano bench at some point in in school, um, music class. I mean, there's a lot of places that you can do that. Tyler doesn't say, as a young child, she sat on a piano bench. He just says, she sat on a piano bench, and I'm seeing her sitting on the piano bench. He also goes on a little bit later, says, who played the piano? Okay, well, that's after he'd already talked about his grandmother. So that's not saying anything at all. It really isn't. Um, Tyler also goes on and talks about um, a bird in the house. What's this about a bird in the house? And you guys are all running around and you had to get a box and everybody's laughing. And they're trying to get the bird out of the house. Okay, that sounds very specific. And that's one of those things that a lot of mediums will throw out as sounding very specific, but actually it's not specific. It's very um, common. So after you've watched this video, go over to YouTube and type in bird in house, get out the bird out of the house or something like that. And you'll see video clip after video clip after video clip after video clip of people in their house doing whatever they're doing. And all of a sudden there's a bird in the house and everybody's running around trying to get the bird out of the house. That just, that's, that's what they do. And that's one of the things he talks about is getting this bird out of the house. Also, Tyler doesn't say the bird is in the house when you were a little boy, Ellen. He just says, what's this about a bird in the house that you guys are running around trying to get the bird out of the house? Well, so that could have been anybody. It could have been um, your grandmother. It could have been um, Alan when he was a baby. It could have been Alan recently. It could have been, who knows? It's whatever Alan, whatever fits Alan. And Alan says, yeah, that happened. Well, yeah, it happens. It happens all the time. So if Alan hadn't noticed, if he, if Alan had said, you know, I don't know of any time that might have happened. Well, then Tyler would just say, well, keep in mind, it might have happened to your grandmother. She's telling me it happened to her. You didn't know. Or Tyler could just say, well, keep it in mind. Maybe ask some of your family members. They'll remember. Or Tyler could have said, okay, great. Well, that's funny because she's telling me about it, but let's move on. And guess what? That clip wouldn't be in this um, uh, clip that we're watching. Well, we're listening to uh, from the e-network. They just would have cut that because it's a miss. But it sort of sounds specific. But, you know, Alan said, Oh, yeah, that happened to me. And it's kind of cute, you know, this idea of people chasing the bird around the house with a box. Okay, let's see. So I want to get to the heart attack. And let's see. I want to hear the exact words. And let me let me make sure I have this here. He's talking about a wedding and that the grandmother was watching him over at the wedding. And it's his third wedding. So the grandmother would have already been dead. And he's, and Tanya is like, oh my gosh, that's so amazing. His mother was, his grandmother was at our wedding. She was watching. That's so incredible. And I'm so thrilled that that happened. Okay, let's see. I think it's right around here. Let's, let's see if this is right. Just taking into consideration that blood pressure is going to be something that we really have to keep in mind. Now, heart issues, they happen to men. It's not uncommon. But the thing is, is that, uh, let me see what that is. I don't know. Hear the I don't know music. Where to start. Hear the tragic music. 
when it comes to like a family and a gene perspective, it's possible that within your family, there might be multiple men who end up at a later age dealing with blood pressure issues, but also deal with either a heart murmur or a heart arrhythmia. But I feel like I have to kind of go to heart and this kind of correlates with blood pressure. So just kind of keep that in mind. I have a couple of people who, you know, kind of came through and acknowledged passing in a bit of a similar sense. And it's almost saying like, keep in mind your own heart because there's a man who was very stubborn who passed away and he acknowledges dying as a result of this heart problem. His message is don't be stubborn like I was. Mm -hmm. And the feeling is like, this is a strong guy. He's great. He's lovely. But he was really frustrated at the fact that he neglected this because this is something that could have been treatable had we just known about it. I'm not wanting to go. And there's just a feeling of like, don't let <laughs> don't let you be me basically <laughs> the way this comes across it's like keep this in mind be proactive in your health do what i didn't is kind of the message so no history of heart disease sure uh, in the family sure uh, with the exception of my sister mm -hmm. uh had a heart issue had open heart surgery mm -hmm. delighted uh that she's fine now right but, uh can't get much more serious than that sure uh just not a genetic line that we've known right. interesting okay that is unbelievable. That's Tanya saying. You said the heart. Right. How that came through. And we talked about it. Right. And I would say, honestly, if this is something that does come into play, it could affect men primarily. I'm not even looking at women so much. This is something that could affect men. So if you yourself notice like blood pressure or heart murmur, just see a doctor. But I feel almost like <laughs> we have to kind of like really take this into consideration. I was really going on about that. Yeah, you were. Uh. Thank you, Dr. Henry. I'm gonna <laughs> take that. I'm gonna take that to heart. Yes, absolutely. You take it to heart. And two months later, he's dead, apparently of a heart attack. So that's why people say that Tyler Henry predicted his heart attack. Did he? Did he warn him? Well, if you take Tyler's career as a whole, um, no, he didn't warn him at all. He just said what he says to a lot of people just different things about you know your health get your cholesterol checked get your health checked you know it's it wasn't it wasn't really a warning warning um it was you know this is a thing that happens to men at you know in your age group and it is a leading cause of death so i'm just playing the odds by mentioning it because you probably should get that taken care of if you haven't already we'll get it looked into that's it but he died so they were able to use this clip and they're exploiting him by putting it out because why not it's entertainment right it's getting clicks Tyler if he had known that his that that Alan was going to die from heart problems he should have said no alan this is serious i need you to go and make an appointment immediately no you know what let's just end the sitting right now and let's get in the car and i'm going to drive you down to well he can't drive we're going to drive down to the nearest um hospital and you're going to get your get all checked out let's get your ekgs and let's look at your cholesterol levels and see if you're you, you need a bypass or what there at no point does he say you're in serious danger this is i'm getting red lights whoop 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 from your your family he's not getting that at all nothing grandma wants to talk about sitting on a piano bench and how she showed up and watched um, Tanya and Alan get married 10 years or so ago. That's what she wants to talk about. Thanks, Grandma. So that was it. That's not much. When you've got an hour or so of, of stuff to cut, and then the, it's been two months and he dies, you got something you can cut to. That's really what it was. Um, the video does go on to say it has Tyler and Tanya walking around the the outside and she's talking about sunshine and how she hasn't been happy for a long time and she just misses him so much and it's and the music plays and it's like oh and you're supposed to go oh my gosh oh my gosh you know cue cue the tears it's so emotional 
the music is there on purpose to manipulate your emotions. This is a show. It's a show. It is not real. Um, it's edited to make Tyler look as good as possible. It is not a test of his abilities. It's just cut that way. Mark Edward, my partner, the mentalist part, Mark Edward has said repeatedly that the real magic happens in the edit room. He ain't kidding. That's where the magic happens. So one of the other things that happens as Tanya and Tyler are walking around after two months after Alan Thicke has died and he says to her, I think you were something about Florida. Were you going to go to Florida? And she's, and Tanya says, yes, he was going to surprise me with a trip to Florida. And Ta Tyler says, I think you should go to Florida anyway. It's it. I think you should go. And then he says, I think you're going to find love again. And someday you're going to find love. And then it ends, you know, like with a sunset and, and happy music and so on. And everybody's, you know, great about it. And I guess Alan's over on the other side with his grandmother and they're playing piano or something. I don't know. The thing is, is that, that this is exploitive. Now, Tanya doesn't seem to care that it's exploitive. She's, she's there happily getting her second reading with Tyler and, and so on. That's, that's on her. Um, I don't know how Alan Thicke's older children feel about this, but it kind of feels like, um, I don't know if I'd be too happy if, if I knew that a psychic medium was exploiting my father's death for a, a TV show. I don't know. I, I think it seems kind of manipulative, but whatever. Um, now, Tyler had had a reading with Alan Thicke. We saw him on the couch talking together. And why is it hard to believe that... Um, Tyler and Henry and Tyler and Henry, Tyler and Alan didn't have a talk about possibly going to Florida in a couple, you know, a few months. And then now Tyler just mentions it to um, Tanya. It's or maybe Tyler watched a press conference with Tanya afterwards, and she's saying, "Oh, I miss my 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 husband Alan so much, my soulmate." And we were planning a trip to Florida. You know, I just found out that he was planning and surprising me with a trip to Florida. So it's not really a hit. Also that she's going to have love again. Well, she's under 40 and she looks great. She's very friendly and she's very outgoing. And, you know, she's she has a lovely, warm personality. I think it's very likely she's going to find love again. I mean, what do you think Tyler's going to tell her? Oh no, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to never find love again. And you're going to be miserable for the rest of your life. And, and you're going to be in tragedy after tragedy. No, of course not. He's going to tell her something pleasant because they want to end the show that way. So I'm sorry. I didn't show you the whole video. This is quicker. If I just explained to you. You can find the video anywhere if you want to watch it. Um, I have a primer out there, a video that's on this channel, and it is about Tyler Henry, the beginning of Tyler Henry, who he is, how he became Tyler Henry, the star, the Hollywood medium. Um, because I believe he's a a character that they that the networks made, they created. Yes, he was doing readings in a little town near Fresno. At the age of 19, they, they found him and made him into this, this star. And I do think he's created. I also don't think he's necessarily hot reading. I mean, it's getting kind of old already that they say he doesn't know who these people are. Of course he knows who they are. And he can know who they are. If he walks into the room and he doesn't know who they are, he could go to the bathroom and Google them and go, okay, who's who's so-and-so? And just look them up on their Wikipedia page or their IMDb page and he'd have the information in minutes. Because remember, they're there at this, this room. They're at this house for a while. He doesn't walk in, say hi to them, sit down on the couch and start the reading. There's There's a lot of downtime before that. So, but I don't think he's doing much of that. He doesn't need to. He's 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 mostly cold reading, playing the odds, 
and has just a little background of the person. That's all he needs. I think I think that's all he would probably need. He's also the king of the long pause. And what I mean by that is Tiger will say something like, oh, um, I see an old photograph of a woman and she has on a uniform. And that pause feels so awkward that what happens is the person who's sitting there, the sitter, is going to respond and they're going to fill in that long pause with information and they'll jump in and they'll say, oh, that must be my Aunt Elizabeth. She was um, in World War II. She was a whack. And she, yeah, we have a picture of her in her uniform. Absolutely. Sitting on the desk in my uh, mom's office or, you know, whatever. So, so these kinds of things, he, he just goes in for that pause and just waits until they fill it in. Now, whether all that pause is completely ed edited out, I don't know. I've seen him do it a lot of times. It's just a way that he elicits information, a way for them to jump in and give him the information. After the sitting's over, what will happen is the person who, was, who got the reading will say, oh, I had a reading with Tyler Henry. He was amazing. And you know what? He knew all about my aunt. Louise was in the wax. How would he have known that? There's no way he could have known that Aunt Louise was was a whack and that we had photographs of her in the, in her military uniform. Oh my gosh, Tyler Henry is amazing. See, that's how they remember it. And it's not necessarily their fault. It's the way the brain works and the way we, we remember things. And plus, we're also storytellers as humans. We want to tell an interesting story. So we're going to repeat it back in that way. We're not going to say, you know, he just mentioned an old photograph and a woman in it and she had on a uniform and then I supplied all the other information like her name what she was wearing was a uniform from the wax and how she's related to me I supplied that information they don't remember that part sorry so please subscribe to the channel I am trying very hard to come out with a lot of videos for you guys I know I'm not super professional and doing all those amazing effects that you see with these other tiktokers and and so on i'm you know i'm just trying to get good information out to you i might have gotten some of this wrong i might have skipped some things i might have forgotten some things if, if i did please let me know in the comments of the videos because i really do want to learn and if i skip something it might be just because of time or i might actually have forgotten or didn't notice it i learn from you guys all the time so you guys have a wonderful whatever day you're having and stay warm.